I'm Anand Prasad. I'm a faculty member here at the UT Health Science Center uh, in the Division of Cardiology. I'm the director of the Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory at University Health System. I'm also the director of the Cardiology uh, Interventional uh, Fellowship Program. We have a robust history here in interventional cardiology of training fellows. We take two fellow candidates every year, and we, they split their duties between the VA hospital and university hospital. The fellows get a broad range of exposure to uh, complex coronary disease, peripheral arterial disease, uh, as well as structural heart uh, interventions. The fellow experience is very robust in these areas and the fellows come out being very well trained, uh, very ready to take on private practice or academic roles. Uh, our fellows do upwards of 350 or more uh, coronary interventions uh, a year when they're here and uh, nearly all of them get certified to do peripheral arterial interventions as well as get a great exposure to structural heart disease procedures. Fellows get a large number of cases, they all get their numbers, and uh, they're very well trained. Even if they don't go into interventional cardiology, they're well trained to do diagnostic catheterization in their you know, new jobs. Those who end up going to interventional programs, whether it's with us or elsewhere, they're quite ready, and in fact, the feedback I've gotten is that they are ahead of the fellows who come from other programs. The general cardiology fellows are really the heart of the cath lab. Without them, nothing else functions. They run the list, run the board, get the patients ready, uh, communicate with the other fellows and the primary team. So the, the general fellows are an integral part of the cath lab. We couldn't run the cath lab without them. They get a very good experience in terms of working up patients, doing procedures, radial catheterization, uh, femoral, uh, assisting with coronary interventions, learning hemodynamics, right heart catheterizations. Uh, and when they're on call, they can even participate in STEMI call and uh, really witness uh, the patient from the emergency room and how they get to the cath lab, how the artery is opened, and then uh, obviously help with the management afterwards. The Advanced Diagnostic Center is a location in the new part of the hospital. It will feature five new cath labs and will be under the auspices of the Heart Vascular Institute. The new facility will allow us to expand offering transcatheter and structural heart procedures to more patients. We will be able to recruit additional faculty and additional interventionalists to come in and uh, build our volume. This will allow our fellows to get a broader experience and work with more individuals over the coming year. Our program here in cardiology is certainly growing. We have a new division chief in Dr. Alan Anderson who's very proactive and has really energized the division. He's got some great ideas to help move us forward. So I think we're in a state where we are building and have a lot of momentum and so we're encouraging new ideas, new people to come look at us. Our interventional fellows have gone on to have very successful practices and careers. They uh, get a good foundation uh, in training and we maintain contact with many of them over the course of uh, the subsequent years and they've gone on to uh, build interventional programs, CTO programs, uh, structural heart program. So we're very proud of what our fellows have accomplished and I feel like we really get them prepared with a good foundation. We have a hundred percent board pass rate so our fellows are well educated and do quite well on the on the standardized exams and so uh, I think uh, you know we have a very strong interventional uh, fellowship program.